Yo RK gang, so today I'm gonna be making the fastest team in FIFA Mobile. These are the fastest players in each position. So yeah guys, let's go and search for the fastest players in each position. First, let's search for goalkeeper position. So let's have a look which is the fastest goalkeeper and I'm gonna sort it by pace. So yeah, Jorge Campos is the fastest goalkeeper. His other card is also the second fastest and his other card is the third fastest. So I think we have to go and get Jorge Campos but luckily I already have him in my club. So let's go and place him in the team guys. Jorge Campos is here. Welcome to the team, Jorge Campos. So let's have a quick look at his stats. He's one of the shortest goalkeepers in the game. He's got 135 acceleration and 118 sprint speed. I mean, that's quite fast for a goalkeeper, guys. The fastest goalkeeper by a mile in this game. And also, guys, the reason why I use 343 flat formation is because by this, you have left mid, left wing, right mid, and right wing. Normally, those positions have the fastest players in the game. So I just went with it. Anyways, let's go and search for the center back. And let's see who is the fastest center back in the game. So St. Juice is the fastest center back with 139 pace. The next fastest is uh, Lacroix and the next fastest is Maldini. So 138 pace for Maldini, Lacroix and also St. Juice got the same speed. So yeah, let's go get them from the market and place them in the team guys. So here we go. Maldini purchase is successful for 1.16 billion coins and Lacroix is here. It costs me 340 million coins. I think this is probably the cheapest card in this squad builder. So 2.94 million for St. Juice and he's the fastest center back in the game. Let's go play them in a team guys first we're gonna put in maldini here and the next one is we're gonna put in lacroix the final one we have to put in saint juiced as well let's quickly upgrade all the three of these cards maldini here we go he goes to a 120 ovr let's have a look at his pace after he reached 120 ovr 165 pace now guys also he got a skill boost pace upgrade so as you can see you got plus 15 sprint speed from the skill boost level i think one of the fastest card and next we have to upgrade saint juiced as well so let's upgrade him and see his pace here we go saint juice to 112 ovr let's have a quick look at his pace he's a bit faster than maldini 166 pace 190 defense and 157 physical actually looks like a very good car especially given that price of the car oh my god he's very fast guys he's very rapid for a center back finally let's upgrade maldini as well lacroix to 119 ovr here we go and it's done so let's have a that look of lacroix 158 pace is not as quick as the other two center backs probably because the strength skill boost doesn't give a pace boost so that's why he's just 158 but still very rapid he's got 150 acceleration and 165 sprint speed very rapid guys and also it's actually a very good card i i played with this card now let's move on to the midfield so first let's start with the sentiment players guys let me just go and search for sentiment players and let's see who are the fastest so blessing is the fastest sentiment he's got 140 pace and the second fastest is rude hullet and also michael balak both of them are the second fastest as both of them got the same skill boost as well i think both are gonna be having equal pace even after upgrading them so yeah let's go put them both in the team guys i already got rude for card so let's go and put him there this card is actually quite wonderful and one of my favorite cards most of my subscribers know that 165 pace he's got equal pace that of maldini quite quick 165 acceleration and 164 sprint speed very good pace guys and also of course he's known for his well all-rounded stats six foot range stall and he's got a lot of traits let's go and get blessing from the market here we go blessing purchase is successful i thought St. Juice is the cheapest card but this guy is the cheapest card in the game right now I mean in this team right now 1.49 million coins so very cheap so let's go and put him in the team and also upgrade him so Blessing he's here so let's just transfer the ranks real quick Blessing to 114 OVR let's have a quick look at his pace stat so he's got 167 pace so far Blessing is the fastest player in the team 167 pace these are the stats he's got he's actually got a good stat for 109 rated card look at his height he's 5 foot range is tall I mean he's short Shorter than me, guys. I'm five foot eight, five foot nine in between that, and this guy's five foot three, so he's shorter than me. That was quite shocking, you know. I thought Insignia was one of the shortest players in the game. Now it's time for the left mid and right mid portion. One of the fastest players you find are from the left mid and right mid portion. So let's have a look. So first, let's have a look at the left mid player. In the left mid portion, the fastest player is Ismail Asar with 162 pace. Without the upgrades, he's got 162 pace. I think with upgrades, he's going to reach 210 around that. He's the first fastest, and the second fastest is this Joshua Sotirio, and he's 159 pace which is three behind Ismail Asar. And let's have a look at the fastest right mid as well. Musa Diaby from Aston Villa. Yes, in real life also is very rapid, guys. So yeah, uh, Musa Diaby and also Ismail Asar are uh, left mid and right mid position. The second fastest right mid is uh, Chakwezi. So he's got 159 pace. So let's go and put uh, both of them in the team, guys. Here we go. Diaby costs us 1.18 billion coins. Unfortunately, we can't sell him back in the market because he's got lots of supply. Ismail Asar is also here. He costs us 330 million coins. Another 
the car which we can't sell back. Let's put them in the team, guys. Ismail Asar here. Also in the right mid position, we have uh, Diaby. Let's upgrade both of them. So let's transfer the ranks to Diaby. Diaby to 122 OVR. Let's have a look at his pace stat, guys. I'm quite excited. 204 pace. I mean, that's quite rapid. And uh, 197 dribbling. Look at this card. Beautiful card. Five star weak foot and four star skill moves as well. Let me do the quick math. Look at that acceleration. I mean, good luck, center backs trying to catch him. So he's got 219 uh, acceleration, if I'm not wrong. And he's got 190 sprint speed. Wow. He's so quick. I think he, this is one of the smoothest cards in the game. A five foot challenge is tall as well. Not the tallest. So, you know, normally short players are very good with dribbling. So I think he's going to be an amazing card. Ismail Asar, let's upgrade him as well. So I'm going to use Rafaelio to upgrade him. And that's going to take Ismail Asar to 119 OVR. So Ismail Asar, he's got two more pace than that of DRB. And uh, yeah, 296 pace, 164 shooting, 155 passing, 192 dribbling. Wow. Actually, this card also looks very impressive. And he's got 219 acceleration just like that of DRB, but he's got a little bit more sprint speed. He's got 194 sprint speed. Yeah, that's the reason why he's got two more pace. And he's quite tall. I don't think he's going to feel as smooth as that of DM, but I think it's going to be fine because even he's got 193 dribbling stat. And now it's time for the attack, guys. The friend three. So let's start with the right wing position first. So Nico Williams and the next fastest is Dembele, who loses by one pace. Both of them has got agility, has their skill boost. So yeah, let's just go with uh, Nico Williams, guys. So the purchase of Nico Williams is here. 22 million coins for him so let's go and put him in the team so that's gonna make him the fastest player in the team so far so 162 pace i think ismail also has 162 pace if i'm not wrong let's transfer the ranks to him so let's do this here we go nico williams to 118 ovr so let's have a quick look at his pace stat he's got same pace as that of ismail yasar so 206 pace 189 dribbling so this card also might be very good for uh given that he's just 113 ovr five foot lunges tall flare speed dribble outside foot shot rate looks like a very good card and let's have a look at the fastest left wing in the game i think it might be vinicius jr if i'm not wrong guys so mohammed darami is the fastest card in fifa mobile never mind it's actually a tie between that of vinicius and darami but let's see who is the fastest after upgrading them to the max stats so i'm gonna put him at level 5 i mean level 30 rank and boost at 120 okay after doing that he's got 206 pace 219 acceleration 194 sprint speed let's have a look at darami as well so let's put him at level 30 also boost level 20 now let's have a look okay so both of them has got same stats literally the same pace stat so i think i'm just gonna go with daremi guys you know why because vinicius you can't purchase him from the market he's got see guys as you can see it's almost impossible to get this card right now given that the game ends in five to six days let's just uh, use daremi and here we go daremi wasn't cheap either he's 900 million coins i think the card looks very good guys let's have a quick look at his stats after upgrading i mean yeah we already know how much pace is called he's got him nico williams and sar all the three of them has got same a pace stat so daremi to 121 ovr that makes him the joint fastest player in this game combined with ismail yosar vinicius and uh, nico williams these are his stats he's got very high physical stats so 125 is actually quite uh, rare for left wing and uh, he's got five foot lunges tall height roulette flare outside foot shot and unfortunately he doesn't have the speed double trait so i don't think he's going to be feel as smooth as other uh, wide players and uh, moving on to the striker so let's see who's the fastest i think this is Haaland. Let's see who the fastest striker in the game is. And yes, that's Erling Haaland with 156 pace. But unfortunately, we can't use him, guys, because he's an incredible card. You can't purchase him from the market. And also, I didn't pack him in any of my accounts. So I just have to go with uh, R9, who's one, sh one behind that of Haaland in the pace. So let's just go and get R9, guys. Here we go. R9 costed us 2.147 billion coins. I mean, one of the most expensive cards in the game. So let's go and put him in the strike striker position insane team we had made guys almost 140 rated team let's just quickly rank him up so i'm gonna use vinicius jr to rank him up and that's gonna take him to 120 to ovr i love this uh, card guys normally rnn cards have always broken in the game 185 pace i know it's not as quick as a winger but for a striker that's actually quite quick and 195 shooting look at those uh, stats 182 dribbling good passing as well for a striker good physical stats and uh, six foot tall finish shot speed dribbler rates insane uh, team guys look at this now we are going to use this team in head to head hopefully we win with a big margin because we're using the quickest players in the game guys come on we definitely got to win with a good margin so let's go and play head to head match all right so we found our opponent look at this opponent's team it's quite low rated for some reason so we have to win with a big margin because our team is way superior than that of his he's come all the way to 1 million cups with the team i mean fair play to him he might be a good player diaby 
Ooh, Diaby is so smooth, guys. And no one stopping Diaby. It's like you know the ball is just attached to his foot. It feels like Messi, uh, Messi in the game, guys, for sure. It's is as good as Messi's dribbling. Well done. Oh, what what's happening? Why is he not passing? Yeah, here we go. And R9 with the second goal of the day, and it's assisted by Diaby. Look at that. That was a nice assist and a cool and calm finish by R9. Of course, it's hard to miss when R9 shoots, you know. So half time. 2-0 should have been better, but my opponent, I have to give credit to him because he has been playing well despite having a weak team. Wow, not gonna lie, that was a lovely goal by my opponent, guys. That's a great goal to be honest. Ooh, ooh, Nico Williams to R9, R9 with the brace. Let's go. That's that's more like it. That's how I'm supposed to play. Nice series of passes and uh, a nice finish by, by R9. One second to tap in for him. So, 3-1. Let's go. What a pass that was. Deremi, no one's going to catch him for sure. No one's going to catch him. And Deremi scores. Yes, let's go, Deremi. To be honest, uh, that pass from uh, Nico Williams or Diaby, I'm not sure who passed it. That was a great pass. I think he's going to score the second one. Okay, never mind. Okay, he scores a second one. Should have defended much better there, but you know, that's fine. We are in the lead anyways, but I got to give credit to my opponent, guys. I now understood why he was able to reach almost 1 million cups with this team, because he's a good player. Oh, no way. I wanted to uh, try another time, guys. But still, nonetheless, that was a great game. And also, I got to give credit to my opponent. Uh, despite having a not so great team, he did great against me. So yeah, that's it. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and help me reach 900k subscribers, guys. I'll get ready signing off. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.